Hey everybody, I wanted to do a little bit of a video. I realize I haven't been posting videos. I didn't realize it had been three weeks. Been kind of busy with some health issues and uh, had my father pass away this weekend, which was a little bit different. Kind of dealing with that in my own way, I guess. But uh, haven't really done much on my build. I uh, wanted to show you one of the decisions I made on the uh, Turbo 4.8 build. I uh, originally wanted to do some uh, comp cam trunnion upgrades because just in case you guys aren't familiar, there's uh, issues where if the factory non-captured roller bearings fail your engine or at least your head uh, gets filled with little needle bearings that can make their way down into the oil pan or whatever down in the motor so a uh, common upgrade people are doing was going to those comp cams captured roller bearing trunnion upgrades and I was on board with doing that as well but after I'd done oh I did a little bit of research over several months and just kind of read reviews of what people liked didn't like I had a too many opportunities to read where the even the comp cams captured roller bearings were failing and, and doing so many times you know under 20,000 miles of driving now I, I don't want to badmouth the comp cam trunnion upgrades because it's very possible that a good portion of those people that are having failures, possibly they installed them incorrectly. I mean, when you press those uh, roller bearings in, into your rocker arms, they have to be straight, true, seated. I mean, there's a lot of little variables there that could go wrong. Um, there could be debris issues in the oil causing those little roller bearings to... Uh, seize up or fail in some way so i'm not talking down on comp cams products i think you know everyone should make their own decisions for uh, what they want to do with their engine uh, i got a little gun shy and didn't want to do the comp cams because i want to do the upgrades i do to this 4.8 i truly want it to be a long running build very dependable you know I want this car to be as dependable as if I decide oh I want to drive out to Oregon and see my family I just fill the thing up with gas and hit the highway I don't want to have any concerns with part failure or anything especially during normal driving and operations well I had come across this new product or what I felt was a fairly new product and, a, and an offering outside of the comp cams and other knockoff trunnion upgrade kits were the solid bronze bushing trunnion upgrades. I don't know if any of you have, uh, <coughs> sorry, very sorry, been sick, but uh, I don't know how many of you have even seen these so far. But basically what it does is it uses a solid bronze bushing instead of the captured roller bearings <coughs> Sorry, that uh, gives you support for your trunnions, eliminates the possibilities of failure, can handle really high spring pressures. This would be something that I would absolutely run if I was switching over to a solid roller valve train or had to go with a really strong valve spring pressure. I would definitely run this style over a captured roller bearing, especially dealing with the stock rocker arms. So I just want to give you guys a quick uh, look at them. Um, I was swayed because uh, I got a really, 
really good deal on these through Star Performance. You can see that they're they're all high quality, uh, highly polished, you know, machined trunnion bars. Comes with brand new E clips. Um, I assembled one just so you could see what they look like with the uh, solid bronze bushings on them. Um, I'm really happy to have gotten these on the deal that I did. And these are definitely going into the Turbo 4.8 build. These are from the actual creators or designers of this solid bronze bushing uh, trunnions because there are some uh, knockoffs already coming out on eBay. But these are made by Straub Technologies. Uh, they are absolutely a high quality uh, part. Uh, checked everything. It looks really good. Um, I don't think I'm going to have any major problems getting these assembled. Um, it does have fairly detailed instructions. Plus, you can go online and get more information, you know, about the assembly instructions and all, how to press them together and get your Eclipse seated and all that good stuff. So, sorry. Uh, but anyway, I apologize for any coughing on the video. Been uh, sick with this junk for over a week and a half. Doctor says it's going away, so see if they know what they're talking about. So um, The only other things I've picked up recently was I finally got my new Mellings. Uh, I think it's M295 oil pump because I just wanted to go with a factory pressure but get a new one since that you know that engine had 110,000 miles on it. The oil pump's probably fine, but it's just cheap insurance for me to go ahead and uh, put a brand new oil pump on there so I know I don't have to worry about it. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, right now, all I have to do is gap my piston rings and I can assemble the short block. So that's where I'm at. And again, I apologize for not making more videos. Uh, hopefully I'll get to film better a little uh, soon and have some uh, better updates from the doctors. So thanks for watching.